everybody, my name is Tanner Bell. Welcome to a littlecraftjuniorday.com. I have a special guest. We're going to be working on a kid craft, a teen craft, something like that work today. This is my cousin Jillian. Uh, do you want to introduce yourself, Jillian? Hi, I'm Jillian. So we are going to be working with some of the fabric paint, which I had somewhere. Here we go. Here is the, um, the tulip fabric paint that we were working on. If you watched last episode, I did a big haul video, so you can definitely check that out on my YouTube channel. But they sent me some fabric spray paint, and it's really cool. These are the metallics, and I just love metallic colors. Yes, I do. Metallic colors and neon colors, I mean, those are just some really cool ones. So what we did was, um, when I was at a trade show just recently in July, I got this bag at the Dear Lizzie booth. And it's a really cool quote because it says the best things in life are handmade. So this is a little um, canvas bag that they were giving out and I actually got one. So I want to add some chevron to the back of it. And what you'll need to do is take any canvas bag and just take it on here and put it down. So after that, Jillian, what do we need to do? Well, I guess start go we'll put some tape on it yeah you so that's design. what we did is make our design now you can do stripes you can get some stencils um i love to create offers a lot of stencils yeah. so you can do that a lot um there's all kinds off the internet you can print out use your cameo and different things like that so i think we've decided to use this uh, fabric spray paint today and one note is right before we recorded the video we put some um just cheap dollar store t uh, paper down so we don't get our countertop dirty so we are going to start this okay so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to open the lid on here. Um, you can shake it a little to get everything moved around in here. But what you'll really want to do is maybe give it some test sprays over to the side of whatever you're working on. So I'm going to start it off over here in Jillian's face. Um, okay, so it's got it going and it's at any consistency. You could do an ombre on here. You could do, you could even mix up the colors. But since on the other side of the bag it's just one color, I think we should just leave it. Yeah. So that's what we're going to do. And it'd be about like 6 to 12 inches away and just sort of spray and you'll get a really cool effect and some of the times it'll be in a circle motion and some of the times it'll be in this really cool motion now there's different techniques you can use with this and the more you want like if you go really hard it'll get it more concentrated and a little bit thinner but more does that make any sense I have no idea but you can just work with it as much as you want. You can try some other colors. Now, Jillian, I think we should add maybe another color, maybe up here some silver. What are you thinking? Yeah. Okay, so you want to get the silver out and just yeah, do this, sure. almost the same thing up here. Maybe um, add it in just to get it to be something really simple and really fun. Okay, so Jillian found a color that actually worked, and you can actually see what color is going on. Um, I would definitely recommend the silver for maybe like some black projects, but we wanted something with like a lot of color and everything. So I think that looks really good, Jillian. What do you think? That looks really good. I really like that. And we could have even added another pattern of chevron here, but you know, it is what it is, and I really like it. So mm -hmm. after that, you can remove your stencil right here. We're just going to pull it back right like this and I just took painters tape and this was the most time consuming part of it just just putting this down but you could definitely do this with your friends and whatever you whoever you need to do it with and it just comes off really easy all in one so now you want to let this dry for about an hour or two um, another thing I didn't mention was I used one of the uh, I love to create boards and we just stuck it into the center of this so hope you enjoyed today's really simple diy chevron on a canvas bag jillian is there anything you'd like to say not really just say i'm glad to be on the show and this was a really cool idea thanks for watching guys hope you have a great day don't forget to check out a little for more inspiration and craft ideas thanks for watching bye bye